Dortmund losing to Borussia Mönchengladbach. We'll be hearing from Jan Agafiotoft about this game. 4-2, it finished to the host. It had been Dortmund who dominated the fixture in recent years. They'd won the last 11, but it wasn't to be in what was an exciting game in the Bundesliga, and things really aren't looking so great for Terzic's men right now. They are slipping down to the table. They are out of the top four. Jan... I'd have to say, is this turning into something more serious, something of a crisis for Dortmund? It is, absolutely. First of all, it was a great, great football game. There was six goals, two hole on goals, very predictable. It's also predictable that Dortmund at the moment defensively are terribly sad to watch. It's like Mats Hummels is a world champion. He can't defend. He's going forward. He's doing well. He can do his Cruyff trick at the end. But you have to defend. And you ha don't have a goalkeeper. Burke is terrible at the moment. And I mean, the second goalkeeper must think, what should I do to get a game hits in this a game? Because that was unbelievable. Three set pieces they, they conceded. And it's just sad to watch them. They fired Favre because they wanted to get closer to, to Bayern. I mean, if they're unlucky this weekend, they could be in the eighth position. And they say Terzic will going to stay for the rest of the season. Well, let's see what's going to happen in Dortmund. Yes, it's a crisis. And the funny thing and the interesting thing, Marco Rosa, the coach of Gladbach, winning 4-2 today. Great coach. He is the favourite to take over, but first in the summer. So they have to do something at Dortmund at the moment. Is it a case of defenders optional, defence optional today? Defending optional, yes. And, and really in key moments. They go down one nothing. All right, but Erling Haaland, who, again, was outstanding in that first half in the way that he took his goals. The first goal, that nice little dinky over-the-top finish, good movement of the ball. The second goal on a resource in, in terms of knowing where the goal is, turns, finishes the play, and it's 2-1, and his Dortmund is flying, and they feel really good about themselves, and now you give up a free kick on top of the 18-yard box, and as Yang just alluded to it, well, Lars Tindall takes a free kick that should be comfortable for Roman Berkey. Even if he sees the ball late, it should be comfortable for at least for him to palm the ball away. Instead, he palms it right into Elvedi, who's right there for a nice little tapping. Okay, 2-2, two, two, we're fine. Okay, no problem. Let's see if we can build some momentum going into the second half. Well, you're never going to build momentum when you allow Ben Sebaini to do what he did. From the left-hand side, overlapping run, he cuts to the inside. And Manuel Akanji, once the poor defender of Julian Brand, Manuel Akanji, he now stands on the six-yard box, hands in the back like this, okay, uh-huh, and he never, never concerns himself with actually closing the space down and actually challenging Ben Sebaini. He scores the third goal, and from then on, Mucha Gladbach took off, 4-2. But overall, you just sense from Borussia Dortmund that the defending is just so disorganized, so stretched. The games are exciting to watch when Dortmund plays because there's a lot of space. And why is there a lot of space? Because they're disorganized all over the place. Some people go and, and press the ball, other people drop off. At times, the team gets, gets, gets stretched, and at times when, when they try to defend, they never get behind the ball in enough numbers. There is no sense here when you watch this team play defensively, and you can say the same thing for Mucha and Gladbach, by the way, that you have a plan defensively. This is what we're going to do. This is our line of confrontation. We're going to high press when we have an opportunity to do so. We're going to drop off behind the ball when we have to do so. They're kind of just running all over. And when you just run all over, you get exposed. And when you get exposed and you have no confidence that Dortmund doesn't have right now, you lose games. Yeah, one person who's never shy of any confidence, Jan, is Erling Haaland. He was not happy at all after this game. Can you elaborate a little on what he said? Yeah, then I have to beep because he was. Oh, just he that was. Bit, then. <laughs> yeah, I will, I will. I will miss that. I've learned my lesson by you, by the way. Uh, yeah, he was. You can see the last ten minutes as well. This was a man on a mission. So it was first the communication he had on the pitch. He was running all over the pitch in the eighty-second minute. He is. Uh, he is more or less the libero, libero of the team. He's running all over the place. And after it was the, the words he used to, uh, was was awful. Is not good enough. And then he had some swear words in there to just describe how he felt at the moment. And, of course, this, this is for the young lads in these teams. There, there was some great goals. The second goal of Holland today was Sancho to Bellingham, Bellingham to Sancho, Sancho to, to Holland, 17-year-old, 20-year-old. I mean, they've got the biggest talents in the world, but the biggest talents wants to win football game. And where, who are the leaders in this team? They should be Chan, they should be Hummels, 
Hummels is all over the place, as Ali uh, said, and they should lead by an example. The problem Dortmund got at the moment is I think they have been fascinated by their own way of playing. No, they need to get more compact. They have to get a bit more organized, get the, the team in shape again, but they all want to do this young Harlem Globetrotters kind of uh, fancy stuff, what they're doing, entertaining, yes, they can't get even European League if they go in there. And they will never get Champions League if they keep on playing like this. Yeah, and you do wonder if them playing like this means that they can keep hold of a player like Erling Haaland. Here's what's coming up this weekend in the Bundesliga. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.